Hello everybody. In this video, we are going to talk about the femoral triangle. The femoral triangle is a pyramidal shaped structure. It's like a funnel that tapers at the base and it's located on the medial aspect of the proximal thigh. Major nerves and blood vessels that supply the lower limb will pass through the femoral triangle. Now let's look at the anatomy of the femoral triangle in detail. So this structure that's highlighted in blue over here in the dotted line, this is the femoral triangle. The femoral triangle has the femoral artery, the femoral nerve and the femoral vein that passes through it. Let's look at the borders of the femoral triangle. First, let's look at the medial border of the femoral triangle. The medial border of the femoral triangle is made up of the adductor longus muscle. Specifically, the medial border of the adductor longus. The lateral border of the femoral triangle, which is here, is made up of the medial border of the sartorius muscle. And the superior border of the femoral triangle is made up of the inguinal ligament. Now, let's look at the contents of the femoral triangle. So, this over here in blue is the femoral vein. In red, we have the femoral artery. And in yellow, we have the femoral nerve. So, these are the contents of the femoral triangle. Now, let's look at the floor and the roof of the femoral triangle. The floor as in the base of the femoral triangle. So, this muscle over here is the iliopsoas muscle, which forms the lateral base of the femoral triangle. Next, we have the pectaneus, which, is, which can be visible over here which is one of the bases and finally we have the adductor longus muscle which is also forming a floor of the femoral triangle. The roof of the femoral triangle is formed by the fascia lata or the deep fascia. Now let's look at the contents of the femoral triangle in detail. We have the femoral artery over here, the femoral vein over here and the femoral nerve over here. Now what is this structure? That is over here. This structure is the great saphenous vein. The great saphenous vein is going to enter the femoral triangle and drain its contents into the femoral vein. So it enters the femoral triangle through an opening over here and this is actually the opening on the deep fascia which is the roof of the femoral triangle. So, the roof of the femoral triangle, which is the deep fascia, has an opening which is called as the saphenous opening. And this saphenous opening will help in the great saphenous vein entering the femoral triangle and merging with the femoral nerve. Next, let's talk about the structure here, which is an orange. This is known as the femoral sheath. The femoral sheath which is an orange, is made up of the continuation of the fascia of the iliopsoas and the fascia of the transversalis abdominis that goes downward into the lower limb and it surrounds the femoral artery, the femoral vein and another compartment which includes the inguinal lymphatics. Now let's look at the femoral sheath in a magnified view. So, this structure over here is the femoral sheath magnified. The structure in orange is the femoral sheath. Here we have the femoral artery. This is the femoral vein and this is the femoral lymphatics. So, the femoral sheath is subdivided into three partitions. So, let's say this is the femoral sheath. It has three partitions. This is the lateral partition. This is the intermediate partition. And this is the medial partition. This side, which is the lateral part, will have the femoral artery. This side, which is the intermediate part, will have the femoral vein. And this side is essentially empty, but it has lymphatics in it. And this medial compartment of the femoral sheath is known as the femoral canal. 
So to wrap up the femoral sheath, we can say that the femoral sheath it's made up of the continuation of the muscular fascia of the iliopsoas muscle and the transversalis abdominis muscle, and this fascia is going to enclose the artery and the vein, but it does not include the nerve, which is an important point to keep in mind. Why do we have this empty femoral canal over here? When an infection spreads to the femoral region or the femoral canal, the lymph nodes will start getting inflamed but due to the void space in the femoral canal it will not affect or compress any other structures hence the femoral canal is essential femoral hernia is also associated with a femoral canal so femoral canal is a very weak opening in this femoral triangle now this femoral canal which is empty when the abdominal pressure is high or due to various other factors the bowels can enter the femoral canal due to the empty space within it causing discomfort and this is known as a femoral hernia now one more important point that should be kept in mind is that the femoral nerve which is this structure in yellow over here will pass between the iliopsoas muscle to be specific between the iliacus and the psoas major muscle so this is an overview of the femoral triangle wherein we have covered the femoral triangle its contents the femoral sheath as well as femoral hernia i hope this video is helpful that's all we have for today thank you